guys welcome back again to the channel today we are going to make this beautiful short gown so this is a very simple tutorial if you are interested please continue watching and make sure you watch to the end so you won't miss out of any important information thank you so much and please before we continue please go ahead and give this video a like give it a thumbs up so that others can see it as well and watch Thank you so much for your support. If you are new here, you are welcome. I'm Chisum Ene. Please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. With that being said, let's get started. So these are the materials I'll be using for the short gown. I have um, my stone zip here. This is 30 inches in length. And I have this door face for the pocket facing. And yeah, I have my African print. So I'm going to place my fabric on fold using the biggest part of my measurement, which is my hip measurement. So guys, I've cut out the material for the short gown. Using my hip measurement, which is the biggest part. My hip measurement is 43, divided by 4 is 10.75, plus extra 3 inches allowance. And I have the front and back on fold. You know, the short gun is going to have a front zip. So for, for my zipper allowance, I have 2 inches here. I just folded it inward and place it like this there's no zipper at the back side so there's no zip allowance so the length of the gown is 40 inches i'll be marking out 42 two inches for allowance so this is the length i have here 42 inches so i'm going to start marking out my measurement my shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2, 8. Then the neck width for this style, I'll be making use of 3 inches for the neck width. And I'm going to come down by 1 inch to slope the shoulder. The next step is to add my sewing allowance here. I'll be adding half inch for sewing allowance to join the shoulders, the front shoulder and the back shoulder together. So I'll add half inch here. I'll measure my armhole depth from here. My armhole depth is 8. To get your armhole depth, Measure your round armhole, whatever you get, you divide it by 2. So I have 8 inches here. So I'm going to draw a straight line there. I'll come here and measure my bust circumference to create my armhole curve. My bust circumference is 39 divided by 4. We give us 9.75. I'll be adding 0.25 ease, ease allowance. So I'm going to measure 10 inches 10 inches instead of 9.75 so for the front armhole i'll take the midpoint and divide by 2 8 divided by 2 is 4 this is the midpoint and i'll come inward by half inch this is for front armhole so i'm going to connect like this and connect like this So this is for the front armhole and you know we are cutting the back and the front together so for the back armhole i'll just connect the curve like this can you see this is for the back and this is for the front then the next step is to add my vertical measurements i've added my bust circumference here so from shoulder to the waist for me, it's 18. 
So from my shoulder to the hip is 25 inches. 25 from my shoulder to my hip, 25. I have my waist measurement and my hip measurement. The armhole depth is representing my bust measurement. So I've added my bust circumference here. The only, the only thing I'll be adding here is my sewing allowance. I'm going to be using one inch for sewing allowance. To the waistline, I'll add my waist measurement. My waist measurement is 37 divided by 4. 9.25. I'll be adding 0 0.25 for ease. So I'm going to mark 9.5. 9.5. And 1 inch sewing allowance. There is no that for this gown. So coming to the hip line, my hip measurement is 43. 43 divided by 43 divided by 4 will give us 10.75. Plus 0 0.25 inch for ease, making it 11 inches. So instead of 10.75, I'll be marking 11 inches. Then 1 inch for sewing allowance. Then coming to this part, which is the length of the gown, I'm going to measure what I have here at the hip line. And yeah, I have 12 inches. I'm going to remove one inch and place it here because I don't want it completely straight down. So I'm going to mark 11 inches here. Then I'll connect. So having done that, the next step is to add our neckline. I've already marked out the neck width, which is 3 inches. Then the neck depth for the front, starting from this half inch shoulder allowance, the neck depth for the front is going to be 7 inches. 7 inches is here for me. So feel free to add the neck depth of your choice. And it's a V shape. So I'm going to connect like this for the back neckline the neck depth is going to be one inch for the neck depth for the back side so I'll connect so this is for the back and this is for the front I'll cut the back part first and then trim the trim all the necessary parts for the front side I'll remove the back so first I'll trim the front armhole so after trimming the armhole the next is to cut the neckline so I'm going to open up the zip allowance like this and I'll cut here straight and yeah cut the v shape so the next thing is to open the zip allowance yeah the front is now two so guys the next thing we are going to do now is to cut the pocket so guys to cut the patch pocket I have here 8.5 inches on fold because I will be cutting two pockets. 8.5 by 16, 16 inches. So I'll cut it out now.
I'll be attaching the pocket at one inch below my under bust. My under bust is 13. So I'll place the tape at the shoulder here and measure 14 inches. So I'm going to attach the pocket starting from this line that I just marked. This is one inch below my under bust. So this is the pocket. I'll just place it like this. You know, this is the line and I have space here. This space is my sewing allowance because I'll be folding it like this to sew. Do you understand? I'll place it like this, half inch above this line. The next thing I'll be doing is to, is to turn like this. After turning, I'll trim off this side. This is how it will look like. I hope you understand. So, having done that, I'm going to shift this and then we'll continue working with the pocket. So, guys, the next step is to come here and measure 3.5 inches for my pocket opening. And then I'll measure 7.5 inches downwards. So I'll connect the points. Can you see what I have? 3.5 by 7.5. And yeah, I connected it. So the next is to curve it like so. Just curve it like this. And that is all. So I'll cut it out. So after cutting the pocket, the next step is to cut the facing. I'll place the pocket like this and cut the shape out. Can you see? So after cutting the shape out, then I'm going to measure the wideness of my the wideness of the facing. So I'll measure three inches all round for the facing. Because I'll be using half inch to sew at both ends. So after sewing, we'll be left with two inches. I'll use this to cut the second, the second one for the other pocket. To cut it out, please face it right side to right side and cut. guys after ironing it out the next step is to iron in my sewing allowance I'm going to iron it half inch for sewing allowance so at this point this curvy area just take your time to iron it in the half inch sewing allowance this is for easy sewing if you don't want to iron it out then when you are sewing it in, when you are sewing the pocket, you just fold in half inch sewing allowance. But for easy sewing, it's better you iron it in. So I'll turn it like this and iron on top so it will relax very well. So we are sewing the pocket first. So guys, to sew the pocket, this is the right side and then this is the right side of the fabric I'll place it like this right side to wrong side of the fabric so I'll place it like this and then the next thing I'll do is to go over to the machine and stitch the pocket opening like this so after stitching the pocket opening this is what I have then I'm going to give it a notch so that it will be easy to turn. I 
I'll just iron it flat. Okay, if you like, you top stitch. You place the allowance here and top stitch. Top stitch on the fabric, not the facing. So the next thing is to go over to the machine and stitch on top. Make sure you use the matching color of your facing so that it will come out neat. Just make sure your stitches is very close to the edge of this facing. Do you understand? So, I, so that it will come out very neat. Do you get? So guys, this is the pocket ready. So the next step is to fold in the sewing allowance here, here, and here. guys after folding in the sewing allowance make sure that the two pockets are equal as you can see the two of them are equal the next step is to fix the pocket to the front part of the gown I'm going to measure 14 inches plus sewing allowance 14.5 which is here Remember the 14 inches is uh, 1 inch below my under bust. So after marking that point, the next step is to place the pocket on the line. I place the pocket on the line like this. So I'll pin it down so that it will be easy for me to stitch. I'll stitch from here like this like this and like this and also like this so guys I'm true with the pocket as you can see the next thing I'll be doing now is to cut the lining because I'll be making use of lining for this gown so I've cut out the lining the next step is to join the front and back together so this is the back and this is the front so let me go over to the machine sew the shoulder by half an inch and the two sides by one one inch because that is the sewing allowance we added so i'll be sewing the lining the same way we are sewing the lining separate and sewing the fabric separate so guys i've joined the front to the back as you can see the next step is to cut the collar and fix the collar before we now use the lining to turn everything so i'm going to cut the collar now to cut the collar we are going to measure the entire neckline minus the zipper allowance i'll take the measurement please make sure you measure very well okay so I have 12 inches here, 12 inches. So with this measurement, we'll cut the collar. For the collar, I have 7 inches on fold. And towards this side, I have 36.5 inches. So the next step is to fold this into two. So what I will start doing now is to add my measurement. We measure 12 inches for the neckline. So I'm going to measure the same 12 inches and mark 12 inches from this side 12 inches and I'll mark I'll be adding half inch for sewing allowance so 12.5 12.5 inches and that is here so guys after marking the 12 inches what I have left is 5.5 inches that is what i have left 
So the next step is to come here at this edge here. I'll measure one inch. One inch. I'm coming down by one inch and mark. Can you see? From this one inch, I'll connect straight to this edge here. Then this is it for this side. I'll come here and measure 1.5 inches. 1.5 inches. This is so that the neckline will relax very well at the back side. From this 1.5 inches, I'll connect to this 12 inches. From here to here, 1.5 and here, 1 inch. So the next step is to connect from this place to this place. Very simple. Can you see? So I'm going to cut it out now. It is very, very simple. If you don't understand it, just watch the video again. And if you have any question, leave it in the comment section. Have you given the video a like? If you have not done that, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that others can see it as well and watch. Thank you so much. The next step is to add my fusible interfacing. So guys, after attaching my interfacing, this is what I have. So the next step is to join the two colors. But before then, I have this uh, stone zip. So I'm going to attach this stone zip at the tip of the collar. So I'm going to place the stone zip like this. Can you see? I'll place it towards the fabric. Can you see? And stitch. The same thing here. Can you see? So what I'll do next is to go over to the machine. I'm going to stitch this one down and stitch the other one down. So this is the stone zip. The next step is to use the second piece of the collar to turn. So I will go over to the machine. I will stitch like this. Like this. Stitch like this. That is like this. And then close it this side. Then after that I will turn to the right side. step is to fix it to the gown so to fix the color we are going to get the midpoint of the color I will notch that point so the same thing here I will get the midpoint of the neckline yeah this is the midpoint so to fix the collar, I'll match the two notches together. Yeah, let me pin it down. So I'll go over to the machine to stitch straight to the other side so guys the next step is to use lining to turn the entire thing so this is the neckline for the lining so i will just place it like this i'll place it like this and stitch i'm going to sew it all round You know, the down part of the lining is shorter. The lining is shorter than the fabric. So I'll, I'm going to drag it to be equal and sew the down part. 
before closing this side so i'm going to sew it all round and turn to the right side from the armhole so guys i'm done sewing the uh, the lining if you get your own correctly the down part should be looking like this i'm going to notch the neckline before turning to the right side from the armhole so guys the next step is to turn i'm going to turn to the right side from the armhole so guys after turning i've gone ahead to give it a good press The next step is to fix the zip. So guys, after fixing the zip, this is what I have. So at this point, you can fix any sleeve of your choice. For me, I'm going to be attaching a basic sleeve. The length of the sleeve is going to be 14 inches plus 2 inches sewing allowance. So what I have here is 16. Then I'm going to measure my armhole depth. As usual this is my armhole depth from that point I'll come down by four inches and I will make a curve like this like an S shape then I'll add one inch for sewing allowance here Coming to this point, my measurement here is 12 inches. 12 divided by 2 will give us 6. 1 inch sewing allowance. And I'll connect it to this point. So I'm going to cut it out. Before cutting the second sleeve, I'm going to trim this side for the front sleeve so i'm going to attach this side at the front side of the of the gown and then this side will be at the back side of the gown so i'm going to use this to cut the second sleeve so guys our gown is finally ready if you want you can use the same color of the stone zip here on that side i just made use of what i have available okay so this is the pocket and yeah this is where the, the zipper stopped i have a small slit here and if you don't know how to cut a basic sleeve i will leave the link of the video in the description box you can go ahead and check it out and watch and yeah if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have not done so already and if you have not subscribed Please subscribe to join the family and turn on your notification bell for more videos. So, go ahead and try it out and let me know your results in the comment section. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I'll see you again. For now, it is bye-bye.